Um, in Hebrews 4, 6 and 7, we read, So God's rest is there for people to enter. But those who first heard this good news have failed to enter because they disobeyed God. So God has set another time for entering his rest. And that time is today. We read in Hebrews 4, verse 3, For only we who believe can enter his rest. Friends, set your mind on finding that rest in God today. The theologian John Bear uh, points out how John in his gospel reveals Christ to be the new Adam, to be the new humanity, this new way of being human. Uh, there's the Genesis language, the beginning of John's gospel, in the beginning. Um, and that's in John 1.1. 1, 1. And then Christ completes the creation of the blind man. So he picks up some dust of the earth, just as Adam is made from the dust of the earth. And he places it on his eyes and he's healed. So this is John 9.6. And as Pilate readies Christ to be killed, he declares, behold the man. And then John 19, 5. Uh, and then as Jesus dies, he says, it is finished. Uh, just as God is finishing his creation, as it were, um, on the sixth day and then rest enters his rest. And so that's John 19, 30 and then he enters his own sabbath rest death he rests on the saturday on the sabbath he rests on the sabbath and then on the first day mary magdalene mistakes christ for a gardener john 20 15 because he's the new adam she finds him as a gardener in a garden just as adam is found in the garden so what follows the crucifixion is the creation of this new humanity through death into new life and Christ is the man. He's the new way of being human. He's the new Adam. Uh, it is finished and he enters his rest and then is seen as the gardener. Friends, one day we will all enter our own rest. We'll all be formed into that new humanity through the resurrection. But in the meantime, we, we have a foretaste of that reality through the Holy Spirit. Paul writes in Romans 8, 23 and we believers also grown even though we have the holy spirit within us as a foretaste the foretaste of future glory as we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering we too wait with eager hope for the day when god will give us our full rights as his adopted children including the new bodies that he's promised us so the life that we now have by the holy spirit is the foretaste of future glory and Paul also talks in Romans about the Holy Spirit being the one who pours the love of the Father into our hearts so that we might overflow with love for our neighbour and for the world. And so the Holy Spirit is that foretaste of future glory, a foretaste of the love of God that is poured into our hearts, that one day we will be like him and see him for who he is. We will see him face to face. We can have that peace today. That sense of love of God washing over us as we come before him, empowered by the Holy Spirit. So today, pray that you will experience that love with the Father today. Pray that you will experience that fresh um, experience with the Holy Spirit today. You will experience the love of God poured afresh into your heart today. For that is the rest of God as we enter into that joy everlasting.